burr, 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 it's cold. Let's get a little small cart. I don't, I don't plan, plan on getting a lot of stuff. It's a little tiny guy. How are you? Good, thank you. Any of these sparkling waters are all okay. They're just, most sparkling waters are fine. No calories, no sweeteners, no sodium, no nothing. Avocados are a go, blueberries are a go, any of the raspberries and strawberries are a go. Just make sure you're using the stuff in moderation. Any of these fresh juices are not going to work. Any of the fruit over here is not really going to work. Unless it's one of these berry containers. And then if you do that, uh, you have to be careful in moderation as always. The guacamole and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's safe. They don't, they don't put any junk in there. No, this is mango. They got mango in here. That's not going to work. If it's a straight guac. Avocado, tomatoes, jalapenos. So this right here would be fine. It's expensive though. Pico de gallo. Tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, cilantro, lime, salt, black pepper. Okay, so this is another one that would be clean as well. Pico de gallo. It's a little bit fresher. See, this would be okay as well. Just be careful because it has nightshades in it. Any of the onions and stuff up there would be okay, but be careful cooking with them because you take a lot of the fiber that's inside and you actually turn it into sugar by breaking it down. Farmhouse cultures. This is called gut shots. This is a, a garlic dill pickle, 10 plus shots per bottle. Let's see what this is. Two carbs. Serving size is one and a half ounces. There's 11 per container. So that means this would be 22 carbs in this container. And what is the purpose of this? Probiotic drink, tantalize your taste buds. Feed your body, mind, and spirit. Sip it, shoot it, boost your favorite recipes with it. Uh, I mean, I guess this could be used, but I don't know if I would recommend buying special stuff like that. It's no... Anyway, I don't... Look at these. These cucumbers. Look at the fermentation and stuff that's in there. It's all cloudy and everything. It looks good. 270 milligrams of sodium, less than one gram of carbohydrate. Cucumber water, sea salt, fresh onions, spices, fresh garlic, crushed red pepper. This would be good, it's good to go. Jardinier. Jardinier. Cauliflower, red bell pepper, carrot, celery stalk, fresh. If you're not like a stickler on your ingredients, this would work, but a lot of people don't do carrot because it's starchy and has sugar to it. Um, per serving, it's less than one gram of carbs. So this would probably be okay. It's fermented too, so it's some of you are having trouble healing from like gut issues and stuff like that. Sauerkraut is going to be a huge benefit to vitamin C and gut health. Um, sriracha, wild born, double fermented. This is so. This is all in zero. It's cabbage, jalapeno peppers, water, garlic, Anaheim peppers, tomatillos, kale, and sea salt. So this is going to be another type of some kind of like almost like a relish that you can put on your food got probiotic in it kimchi kimchi is going to be probably a go napa cabbage brine radish carrots leeks ginger garlic it's actually really good for your wakame, cayenne pepper, bird's eye, chili. It's actually really good for your gut if you can handle it. 
any of the fresh vegetables are typically a go. You just be careful with the starchy ones. Oranges and fruits like that, not going to happen. Careful with the tomatoes. There are oxalates in them. They can be inflammatory. We've got a little meat section right here in the middle. Let's see what this is. $1.99 a pound for Whole Foods Market. No antibiotics, no hormones. Pretty clean product, actually. Whole foods, chicken market, no antibiotics, vegetarian diet, barn roaming, complete. Four forty-nine a pound. Ten dollars and sixty-two cents. It's not a bad price. Kind of, not a very. There's not a lot in there for what you're getting, but it ain't a bad price. Asparagus is good for your colon, especially good prebiotic fiber too. flour, butternut squash, you know, all this stuff can be added in, you just have to be careful, again, most of this is all in moderation, um, any of these, like, spring salad mixes are going to be good, don't ever get something like an iceberg lettuce or whatever, it's almost no nutrients to that, there is no nutrients to it at all, but these, like, like more exotic style leafy things, you know, arugula, and, and not exotic, but, you know, stuff that we're not used to getting because we grew up on iceberg, iceberg doesn't do nothing for us at all. Other than probably give us a belly ache and that's it. Most of these dressings are not gonna work. One of these I've tried before and it was a pretty good product. Um, which one is it? Is this the one? Olex sunflower oil, lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, mustard, vinaigrette. This is the one here. One of these I tried and it was actually pretty good balsamic because I use I use it marinate on meat I like to to um, this right here I would probably use if I could stand it I'm not sure which one it was that I that I had before avocado ranch sunflower oil lemon mustard seed avocado cage free eggs I'm not seeing anything that's crazy, so I think this is a go. I'm actually going to buy this. I'll try it out. I don't know how it tastes. I don't know if I do the avocado ranch or the creamy ranch. This would be another good, I mean, their product line looks pretty healthy overall. You know, so that Tessa Mays creamy, creamy Caesar, the avocado ranch, balsamic vinaigrette, the lemon garlic right there, the green goddess. This is probably some kind of dressing and marinade. What, what oil's in here? Sunflower oil on this side. Soybeans, that's not going to work. These are all really good clean products, it looks like. What is this? This is new. Nah. Carb count is too high. I mean, the carb count's not super, super high, but... I'm not seeing anything in here that really stands out too bad other than that honey. Um, I'm looking at it through the phone though, so I might miss something. Canola oil, yeah, that's a no-go as well. Overall, not a bad product, but not what we want. Let's see this Chipotle Ranch right here by these guys. Yeah, canola oil is the first one. If I see that on the first one, I automatically put it down. I don't want anything to do with canola oil. Avocado puree, sea salt, onion, ascorbic acid, xanthan gum, silicon chloride, filter organic vinegar, cilantro, lemon juice. Contains soy. Nope. 
that was going to be a good to go product, but. Soybeans, nope, not going to happen. Organic girl, white cheddar ranch. Oh, that sounds good. Canola oil, yeah, I'm not gonna go with that. Let's see this right here, this garlic tahini. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but not necessarily the cleanest either. Fish taco sauce, I love this stuff probably. If it was clean, I probably would love it. Canola oil, no good. I don't want it. Carb count's a little higher on this. I mean, it's not terrible because at least they're using a regular style sugar, but uh, the best one I found so far is this one here, Tessa Mays. So I'm gonna try the avocado ranch, let you guys know what that's like. Any of this real cheese is gonna be fine. This is down here, sparkling water. Most of it's fine, just gotta be careful and check out the sugar and stuff. It's delicat. Got some specialty ales here. Fish. Great source of omegas. You want to look for a wild caught, preferably. What are these down here? Pretty good actually, look at this. I mean that's that's a great source of omegas. That'd be a good product to have, like something to snack on. Get herring in a jar, herring, wild, it's all wild herring right there. Any of the fish is going to be good. It's just, you want to try to stick with this darker colored wild caught right here. See, the Atlantic salmon you see right here, the farm raised stuff is $10 a pound. The wild caught stuff is $16.99 a pound. It's got more omegas and it. it's more natural. Be careful with the seafood that's got the breadings and stuff like that on top of it. different types of seafood in here. Not a bad price, that's a good price for those. Those are huge. 
Again, they have nuts over there in containers and things like that. Um, you have to be careful because it's a lot of those nuts and stuff that we eat, again, inflammatory. Coconut water. Let's look at this coconut water and see if there's a lot of sugar in it. 13 grams of carbs per serving, and there's four per... There's a lot of sugar in here. It can be used for hydration purposes. If you're like in an emergency need, you can use this to actually hydrate quick, but just don't use a lot of it. I wouldn't go using it every single day. Mediterranean garlic marinade. What do we got here? Canola oil base. No thank you. Let's see. Let's look at this mustard barbecue sauce and see what we got in here. Zero grams of sugar. Three carbs per serving. I would entertain this actually. This is not a bad product. I mean, it's got some pineapple juice, they said, but overall, it doesn't look like there's anything that unnatural in there. Um, looks like this one is sold the most. They don't have that many left on the shelf, so let's see what this is all about. Water, distilled vinegar, cayenne pepper, salt, extra virgin olive oil, tapioca starch, pineapple juice, xanthan gum, one carb per serving. And it's one tablespoon per serving. So this would, this this uh, this primal product here would probably be okay. You just have to be careful of your carb creep carb count. You know they have this side here from from the classic side over that has three grams per serving, and this side over here that has you know zero to one gram per serving. Buffalo wing sauce, mild. Soybean oil, nope. Some kind of barbecue sauce here. Vinegar, sugar, seven grams per serving, nope. Korean barbecue sauce marinade. Eight grams per serving. Nope. Two tablespoons is a serving, 13 total carbs. Nah, I'll pass on that. Next. Oh wow. Sugar free dry rub. Sliced uncured bacon, paleo. Zero everything. Pork, sea salt, spices, black pepper, fenugreek, nutmeg, white pepper, all spice. Super clean. Another one from Welshire, Anik. Nothing put in it. Applegate down here as well. Uncured reduced sodium Sunday bacon. Eight bucks a pack. You don't get very much. But there's nothing in it. Well, it does. It says sugar on it, but there's nothing listed for the carbs. So, I don't know. No, I might put that in the wrong one. It's like they don't have any kind of big packs of bacon. Well, up here, applewood, uncured. What does it say? Nature's Rancher, pork raised, no hand, no. Seven bucks for this pack. Water, brown sugar. Ah, uh, I would use this. I don't care if it says it's got brown sugar. There's like nothing per serving, especially by the time you cook it and put it all back. Now. This is what I came for here. I wanted some good sausages. A 
let's see what we come up with here. What looks good? I mean, it all looks good, but what really, really looks good? I love those uncured hot dogs from them. These are $5.99 for these. Here's that Wilshire again, that really clean product that we've seen down there. Let's see what they got. Beef water, salt, raw sugar. I don't know what that means. Raw sugar. All natural, uncured beef franks. I would make an exception for this. This, this product, these people just look like a really, really, really clean company. Again, so... Here is uncured, grass-fed beef hot dogs. I wonder what these different step things mean. These don't look bad. These look pretty good. I'm going to give them a shot. I mean, they're kind of... Ex and well, I guess $5.99 is not that bad. I'm going look at these other ones real quick. These are pretty good. I like these. I apologize. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it. I'm a diesel mechanic, guys, and, and my hands are never clean. I got dried up uh, permanent glue and everything else, and I try to clean my hands the best I can when I do these videos. I apologize. Somebody was complaining about it the other day, and... I really don't care, but evaporative cane juice, sea salt, vinegar. All right, I'm gonna give these a shot. Wellshire Kids, cheddar cheese, premium uncured franks, pork and beef raised without antibiotics or growth hormones. And these are bigger than the other ones. I'm taking, I'm picking those up. Sir, on those packages that say welfare rating 2, welfare rating, what does that mean? I appreciate it. Thank you. So if you guys want to know what those numbers mean on the packages that say 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's just telling you right here as a five-step animal welfare rating, your way to know how they were raised. Number one is no cages or crowding. Number two is enriched environment. Number three is enhanced outdoor access. Number four, pastures, pasture centered, animal centered, no physical alterations. And five plus is animal centered entire life on farm. That's pretty good to know. So if I looked at the one that said number four. One of these said number four. Or is it? These are two. This just means enriched environment. The ones with the green labels mean pastured, centered. Anything, anything green label and above is supposed to be, you know, kind of like top notch or whatever. So let's see. Figure out some more information. Here's all your ground products and stuff. Ground bison, 
organic ground beef. See, these here were the ones that were number four. This is pasture centered, it says on these. Um, Where's your, uh, do you have any meat that's five plus rated? Okay. What about five? Highest is four? Okay. And the difference between the, the 499 and the 699 one is the lean, the, the fat content. Yeah. Can I get a pound of this uh, pasture raised ground? Well, what is the, what's the difference between, so this, this one over here, says grass fed and this one here that just says pasture raised ground beef essentially both of these at some point were fed grass so this is grass fed grass finished here this one is the last six months of its life and then this one is just regular regular ground beef it's all right <laughs> Okay. So this is the last six months, last six months, and this is the entire. Let me get a pound of this, the, the completely grass fed ground beef. So I try to, like, I, I teach, I've lost 147 pounds doing ketogenics. And well, I've been doing this for almost, I've been doing like low carb living for almost 15 years. Well, people talk about it's not sustainable. And I'm like, you know how many people I know that are runners, that are athletes, that have been doing it their entire life? It's absolutely sustainable. It's like the complete biggest hogwash myth that I've ever heard my entire life. Yeah. So like the last the last year, I've been almost 99.9% .9 carnivorous eating. No vegetables, no fruits, no nothing. Mm -hmm. My triglycerides went from 114 down to 52, and my HDL went up 12 points. So you're, you're telling me that I'm doing the exact opposite of what the government and our doctors are telling us to do and I'm healing. So why would I, I just don't understand. <laughs> I notice the prices have come down a lot though. The prices used to be higher. They've come down. Well, has it come down because of the Amazon deal? That's probably why. Am I thought so, because that's what everybody was saying. As soon as Amazon buys them, the prices are gonna come down because that's just, with them working together, everything's gonna be more affordable. So, okay, thank you, I appreciate it.
See all this wonderful pH balanced water, huh? There's that hint water up there. They use like the hint of fruit. It's like just a little bit of the flavoring to get the flavor into the water there. That hint water up there. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna brag about it or anything, but it's actually pretty good. Now, let's find good eggs. Any of you have any suggestions on the eggs here? If you've been here before, what suggestions do you have on eggs that I should try out? I normally, when I come here, get that Pete, Pete and Jerry's because it's always on sale. It's free range. It's all like organic or whatever. So, so that's normally what I get, but I'm seeing that they got some new kinds here. I know this um, Alfresco Pasture Rays. Um, there's a really good brand. They have their own butter as well. Vital Farms the same way here. Um, does anybody have any suggestions at all? Because I'll try it out and I'll see if I like it. And some of them do taste different based on how they're raised. And then if you look at these here, let's see if let's see if they have their brand completely. There's cage free, organic. Well, there's my comments. I've been trying to figure out where my comments are at. Okay, so you guys say Vital Farms, Vital Farms. Okay, I'll try try Vital Farms. I mean, would you? Okay. Well, this is Vital Farms here as well. Which one should I get? The regular pasture raise or the organic? Tended by hand on small family. I don't know which one's the best one to get. What is the difference between them? There's a black one here. It's 12 eggs large. And then there's this one here that 12 eggs large, happy hens, free to forage under open skies. I don't know what regular is though. I'm not sure what that means. I, they all look regular to me. This is girls on grass free to forage okay so this is grass only this organic one right here is only grass these other ones are non-gmo but i think it can mean that they have other things as well happy hens free to forage yeah but i mean i want to give it for, i want to give it its chance at face value i mean if that's what it is that's what it is i mean i'm not trying to be rude or snippy or anything like that but i just I want to give it at least a face value chance because if that's the case I can go down here and get these on sale for $4.29 and just get the, the Pete and, and Jerry's organic eggs. Organic and pasture aids, world's best eggs. Those are $7.99. These here, these here are $6.99 and these here are $5.40. I just get these right here. Let's look at the whipped cream and see if it's got melted extra in it. Organic cream, non-fat, organic cane sugar. So Abyssinian monosray. Carrageenan. Carig nope, I'm not doing that. There's goat butter down there. I want to try a different butter that I haven't tried yet. Um, I've tried to carry gold. I've never tried. I've tried to I've tried this over here. I've tried the European. I've never tried goat butter. Goat butter is substantially more money.
I need to find some better places to go, so that's why I'm doing these videos so you guys can see everything that I'm seeing. Look at this junk. This is that vegan stuff right here, that vegan sausage crap. It's just full of oil, though. Like, you go to cut into it, you seen that burger I made? It was like a vegan burger. When I pushed my fork down on it, all that oil and stuff just started oozing out of the top of it. It was so disgusting. This must be some kind of really, really high-end cheese because it's, it's more than all the other ones. Manufactured in Iowa. Grade A. This is grade AA. I don't know if it means a difference, but... I don't see anything to brag about there. I'm not going to... Oh, I want to check out this, this sour cream. Here's all the vegan junk for everybody. Want some vegan A's? Disgusting. Just be careful with this stuff. Look at look for hidden sugars and things like that. Do most almost all these sparkling waters are all good to go as well. Any of the iced coffee can be done. I would rather do iced coffee and then make bulletproof coffee by heating up the coffee rather than heating up the bean itself because you pull the acidity with it. Cold brew, you're not going to get all that acidity, so make sure you. You really take a chance to look at some cold brew coffee if you're going to have coffee it's a lot healthier for you in my opinion it just doesn't have the acidity effect on the stomach and it doesn't leave you so um, you know stomach being upset let's look at these yogurts here what are we looking at on yogurt let's look at this kite hill yogurt right here plain unsweetened four grams of carbs per serving two grams of fiber Ingredients is almond milk, water, locust bean, xanthan gum, agar, live active cultures. So this could be okay. I mean, it's not terrible, but... There's the sheep milk yog or yogurt up there. Okay, so we look at the sheep milk yogurt. Let's look at this here, see what it says sheep milk yogurt they want two dollars and 69 cents for this little thing holy moly 16 grams of carbs keep that good night sam i do not want that um i'm thinking i need to just walk away from all this over yogurt stuff yep. phage down there five percent right there This one here, that's a good one, the 5%. Well, any of the phages are all right, but the 5% is good. Let's look here, look here. Kiefer, 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 kiefer. Kefer, kiefer, kefer. Living probiotic shots. I don't do any of that junk. Pure cashew milk. Be careful. Uh, the Califia Farms, they have the carrageen and free ones, the ones I've seen so far. So, If you're going to do milk, 
at all, which is not keto, but if you are going to do it, make sure you're doing 100% grass-fed and make sure it's raw, and as raw as you can possibly get. But it's not really keto. Any of this real cheese will be okay. It's perfectly fine. I'll try it out. Mm. Oh man, that is good. That is delicious. Holy moly. That is probably the best cheese I've ever ate in my life right there. That is freaking good. Holy moly. That's good. It's got a little crunch to it as you're biting through the softness. It's amazing. That's dangerous. What is this? Mango and ginger cheese? What the heck? I want to get another little piece of this cheese. Is this, is this new? Is this new? No, we've had that for quite a while. This is delicious. It's but it's delicious to the point where I feel like I would sit home and watch a movie and eat this whole thing. I mean, it's, it is phenomenal. And it melts pretty easy. It's a really, I, by looking at it, you think you're going to grab it and it's going to be hard, but when you bite into it, it's like really creamy and soft. Yeah, it, uh, it crumbles pretty easy. It crumbles it's easy, and then it's got those little crunches in it. Those are nice. You try it? That stuff is good. It's good? It's delicious. It all depends on if you like cheese or not, though. I like tart cheese, and that's got a little tart and a little sweet to it, both at the same time. Here's your brie. I like that. But I guess it's different because now you know you're getting a grass-fed cheese as opposed to a grain-fed cheese. They have completely different tastes to them. I'm trying to get myself used to more grass-fed meat, but I can't. I'm so used to conventional meat that when I eat grass-fed meat, it, it's, it's too sweet for me. It's like... I'm not used to that natural flavor that's there. Oh yeah. Drunken goat cheese. Drunken goat cheese is good, but I think the cheddar is good. Really? Yeah. It's got some better flavor. more Drunken goat cheese. Oh look at that. So, super soft. What is this? This is. It's Fantino Fontel. Separtino. It's super soft. This is. What does this say? Handmade cow cheese? 
door set. And it's soft too. It's got a nice soft. <laughs> no wonder why. Look at that. It's made from raw milk. Just that little piece right there is six dollars, and it's raw milk. This is probably the healthiest form of cheese that you're gonna get. Raw milk cheese. That's really soft too. What is that called? That's called Talagigo? Taligio? Taligio. Ambrose Taligio, Italy. $18 a pound just for that one little piece right there. It's $4.14. Swiss cheese is my, my weakness is Swiss cheese. But not today, Satan, not today. Buttermilk blue cheese, super soft. Okay, let's keep walking. I cannot afford all that cheese because I'm going to start buying cheese and then I'm going to be broke. Look at this carry gold down here. <laughs> Yellow American cheese. Uh, junk. Super soft too. I got a, I got a taste for some, for some uh, mozzarella cheese anyway. Just a little snack on the way home on my drive home. All this stuff would be good, but you also have to remember this stuff is processed. So, even though it might be healthy and it might be low sugar and low carb, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best. And they keep coming out with these new breads that get, are that are getting, and this is what shocks me: is getting closer and closer and closer to zero carbs per serving. Like this one here: three grams of protein, three grams of fiber, 130 milligrams of omega-3, and 12, 12 grams of grain, 60 calories. 12 carbs per slice and if you do net which I don't do net it's nine I mean they just keep getting closer and closer and closer and then people think that stuff is keto that is not keto any of this stuff can be done on keto right here as well these olives can be done as long as there's no sugars Great omega content. Any of this junk in here, no go. Can't do it. Any of any of these breads and cakes and stuff, walk away. Cannot do it. Now I've heard they do have options here, like this baked chicken. You could do that. Smoky Southern Greens, you could probably do that. Just make sure there's no sugar content to them. Uh, 
Paleo friendly mashed cauliflower. This has got roasted cauliflower, olive oil, parsley, black pepper, butter, cream, garlic, salt, black pepper, parsley, and nutmeg. Ooh, that sounds like that would be delicious right there. And it smells amazing. I'm gonna try some of that. That smells phenomenal. I don't know what you're supposed to put that in. I'm sure you ain't supposed to put it in here. This little container thing here. Be careful, certain herbs and flavorings mess with people here, but these are those chicken. The rotisserie chickens are supposed to be fine. Look at that right there. Those little peanut butter things, keto cups. We're fixing to go look at those. all over the place oh that's super good wow that's delicious um, kombucha kimchi water and stuff like that the hydration water any of these waters in the cooler over there is a water. It's a cool, coolers of nothing but water. You have to be careful because they put like aspartame, maltodextrin, dextrose. They'll hide all kinds of stuff in there, so be careful. Different types of sugar. I've used this Kavita, I think it's the lemon cayenne before with no problem at all because I don't think it has no sugar in it. It's, it's one of these that's really low. Yeah, one gram per serving, and there's two servings, so two grams and water, add, uh, lactic acid, kefir, culture, natural enzyme, lemon extract, cayenne pepper. There's nothing there's stevia leaf in here, so there's no there's no garbage in this cavita at all. Make sure you check these products out. Let's check these here. Whole Foods Cookbook. And right next to it is Keto Cups. Coconut butter, cacao, MCT oil, coffee, monk fruit extract. So far, phenomenal. Tree nuts. Tree nuts manufacturer facility. Ingredients is exactly what's on the front of it. Carbohydrates, five carbs. Four of them are fiber. And it's sweetened with monk fruit. This is by far the number one keto peanut butter cup that I have seen on the market so far. This is the most naked and the most um, clean that I have seen with no junk added at all. Right here. Coffee flavor. Original. I would support somebody buying this product if you wanted a snack or something for the kids. That would be awesome. <laughs> right, no. But this is it's super clean and um, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people to put out good products on the market that are honest, that I can do honest reviews on because I will not lie about things. Uh, SlimFast came out with a line that says they got all these keto products and stuff like that. You flip the label over and it's maltodextrin and dextrose and soy oils and canola oils and all this stuff. I'm like, what are you all doing? This is not part of the gig here. You just slap a name on it and then you expect people to buy it. And that's not it at all. When I see a product like this, when they're, they're this raw and naked, where they just say, this is what's in here. Yep. 
That's and it. That, that's what all, honestly, that's what Whole Foods, that's what all our about. about. So we don't, we, we right. search for products like that to keep it up. You yeah. Know, make sure that we are given the best. That's what, that's what I search for. I search for places where I can send people like now, a Chipotle has a, a super clean keto bowl where before stores would have other stuff in, restaurants would have other stuff in there, and you'd think, well, where, where's the sugar at? I know it's here. Mm-hmm. Well, now they took it all out. They actually went up to corporate. Corporate said, let's give them what they want. And the only thing that's in there that's a, that's a little off and it's not even that big is they use sunflower oil instead of like a instead of an olive oil or an avocado oil mm-hmm. or a coconut oil that's very healthy. Yeah. Sunflower oil has a little higher omega-6 content. Yep. But- not a big deal. But it's a clean product, yeah. and people can eat it and not feel yeah. guilty about it or whatever. Yeah. And when I find stuff like this here, Ooh. now I can say, you know what? You want a snack? You want a treat? All right. Have you gone through the whole store yet? I go to the outside, and then I work the middle, but I try to work the middle quick because a lot of times at most stores, not here, I haven't been through the middle like where I'm showing everybody what I'm doing um, slowly, mm-hmm. and that's where I'm going now after this. Oh, no, it's all it's all the same as the outside. I can, I can yeah. guarantee you it. Because we have a very strong, strong, uh, policy of what can be, what can be in ingredients. Right. As soon as we, if we see anything, hey, it's out. Yeah. That's, and that's the. God I've noticed that so far. There's very, very, very few. Like, I'll, I'll notice. I'll tell people, look. Like, even though you see sugar here, this is real sugar. It's raw sugar. Yeah. It's not. It's, raw it's sugar not maltodextrin or, 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 or dextrose. It's, it's, it's pure it's something. Very. I can't. I haven't seen I can, one product so far that has anything. I, say, I, I, I don't know of one that does not use a pure form. Right. In this store. Right. Because we can't. And that's that's, that's what I'm looking for because monk fruit is real. Mm-hmm. Stevia is real. I've noticed you guys use that and they're real products. So, and then even raw sugar, cane sugar, something like that, it's all real product. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, when I come across a product like that, I'll say, look, this is a clean product. It's very low sugar, very low carb content. Again, it's a real sugar. You make your choice. I would rather go with a monk fruit or a stevia. What's your, what's your site that you... If, you're on, if you go on YouTube... Um, I'm the keto mechanic on YouTube. Keto mechanic. Okay. Cool. And on Facebook, I have my own completely different. Yeah, I'm actually on here with YouTube right now, so you probably see it pop up. Okay. It's not, my voice isn't on there, right? <laughs> <laughs> voice, not. Uh, All right, cool. All right. <laughs> voice, yeah, but your image or nothing, I didn't get any of your face. All right. Keto mechanic. The keto mechanic. Oh, the. My guys are cool. We don't we don't cause no problems with nobody or anything like that. There you are right there. K and O, it'll pop up. That's me right there. Yeah, it says I'm live right there. The top one. So you'll actually see what I'm doing right now. After the the ad pops, you can just hit the X. Oh no, yeah, and you'll see the store live right now. See. <laughs> If you if you don't hit subscribe, you'll never see when I go live. You better hit that subscribe button. All right. All right. That was kind of neat. Let's go down here. Most of these are going to be no go. The Halo Top, remember, it does have real sugar in it. Um, it does have some sugar alcohol in it as well. So you got to be careful with the Halo Top as well. Can, even though it can be done, it may upset your stomach. So that's uh, another thing to be careful of. Um, Enlightened is another clean product. But a lot of people say they can't get past the flavor and it's like really expensive. So careful there as well. Well, it's not really expensive. You get two for nine bucks. It's about four fifty a container. If I was to look at Maxine's, you're going to find sugar and stuff in it, I'm almost positive. Yeah, 9 carbs per serving. And these are all, you know, like pastas and stuff like that, entrees, you don't want to get involved in too much of that. Um, This stuff is not going to fit keto. These pizzas aren't. There are some pizzas that have like cauliflower crust pizzas. I just need to find out where they are. Right. 
most of the seafood can be done if it's not breaded. So like any of the seafood's fine, just don't get breaded seafood. And the vegetables and stuff over here are all organic, are all good. Just make sure you're getting non-starchy one, low glycemic ones. And we're back to the probiotic drinks and things of that nature. These highball energy drinks, they don't have no, no garbage in them at all. They're super clean. All these energy drinks are the ones that say zero sugar. Some of them do have organic sugar, so be careful. Zevia has their line of um, energy drinks down here. You got Zevia, and then let's look at Match Bar, or Matcha Bar, I should say. Theanine, antioxidants, caffeine, two brothers. One gram of carb per one can, and it's got water, ceremonial grade matcha, lactic acid, chlorophyllin, organic cane sugar, green tea extract, lemon extract, lime extract. So this would be an okay product. I mean, it does have a little bit of cane sugar, but it's less than one gram of carb per serving. So I would say this would be okay. And this one says it's zero sugar. And they use monk fruit, so this one would definitely be okay. Well, I'm going to try it. You know, I like to try everything that I come across like that. Let me see how much caffeine is. Does it list the caffeine? Or is this not even a... Shake lightly. Natural matcha energy drink. But it doesn't say anything about caffeine on there. Oh, it does say caffeine it's right here. No crash, no jitters, one hustle, you can one, one energy drink. So hustle grade caffeine, but it doesn't tell you how much. I'm gonna try it. I can't, I can't talk about it if I cannot, tr if I don't try it. Let's check these here. Three dollars and thirty-nine cents each. Thirty grams of sugar. Oh wow! No way. Not happening. Zenify Stress Relief, zero sugar. Monk fruit, stevia extract. This is an antioxidant supplement. I don't know what it does. I mean, other than just <laughs> de-stresses. This is a bunch of like drinks and stuff like that again be careful because even though clean even though it's clean protein clean protein still will spike your blood sugar and stuff like that as well because it's very insulinogenic um, quest protein cookies let's see what they got in here I'm seeing corn fiber it says five grams of erythritol 10 grams of fiber so per cookie it's like five five net carbs um, again there's some questionable I'm seeing whey protein buttercream soluble corn fiber erythritol sweetened chocolate so overall other than the corn fiber this is not that bad actually it's a pretty decent product and the reason this video is taking so longer guys you got to think about it now we're in a health food store we've got better options to actually talk about things instead of me shooting stuff down right away be careful with all the, the the quest bars any kind of these protein bars and stuff like that really make sure you're doing your research now we got this bulletproof brand um, the, you know dave asprey brand collagen protein bar right here 13 grams of protein two grams of sugar um, cashews soy soy milk oh, that's that's great the very creator of um, oh here's Primal Kitchen here's Primal Kitchen's um, protein or their bars 13 grams of protein three grams of sugar I think it should be listed on the box too yeah it is right here cashews probiotic tapioca fiber bovine collagen peptides pumpkin seeds eggs whites natural flavor rosemary extract monk fruit 
Actually, these are pretty clean. See how many carbs. Total carbs are 15. See how much fiber it has. Fibers, two. And it's got a lot of carbs to it. What are these? These are collagen, collagen fuel bars, macadamia and sea salt, not collagen fuel bars. 14 grams of carbohydrate, one gram of fiber, and the rest of it must be from monk fruit. Fifteen grams. So these are all their collagen collagen bars. Fourteen grams here. Oh, here's the Epic brand. Remember, we were all talking about that. We, the Epic brand peanut uh, cage-free egg whites, dates, peanuts. Oh yeah, this is they're they're supposed to be a new, really, really clean brand. Ingredients: dates, peanuts, egg whites, peanut oil, sea salt. Total carbs, 24 grams. That is a lot. Here's all their jerky up here. Some venison jerky, 12 grams of protein, 100% grass-fed, sea salt, pepper. It's venison. Here's bison. Salmon jerky. Hundred percent wild caught Alaskan salmon. If you had to pick two of these, it says two for four bucks. I'm gonna get two of them. If you had to pick two of them, what would you pick? The salmon, the boar. Here's wild boar right here. The beef. So if you had to pick two of these these meats from, from Epic, what would you pick? I'm gonna pick them right now. So if you guys help me out, then uh, I'll tell you how they taste. I'm thinking uncured bacon. This is a bacon one. So you said salmon. This is really tough. It's hard, super hard. I don't know how long it's been in there. Or some of these other ones are soft. Bacon and what are salmon and what else? Beef and salmon. All right, I'm gonna try the salmon, but these are extremely hard. I don't know if that's normal or not, but they're like you can't even. I'm trying to push really hard onto the pack; it won't even barely go down. But like, if I look at this wild boar, I can actually push into the pack and squeeze into it here. So I'll try this. Beef. I eat enough beef. I want to try something different. You would need wild boar. All right, I'll try the beef. Oh yeah, that looks real good. Best by August of 2019. So it's it's good still. It's just how they have to to cure it to go or to dry it out to go into these packs it's super super hard so it's going to be like 
really dry when I bite into it, I bet. Supplements. Pork skins, pork salt, pork fat, salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, matured seed, chipotle powder. Okay, you got to go in my cart, and I don't want no pink Himalayan salt. I don't need on need none of that stuff. And you got to go in my cart. I don't know about the lime. What do you think about the lime? Would you guys like lime flavored pork rinds? I don't think I would like those. I think the salt and pepper one and the barbecue seasoning one is gonna be my favorite. You know what, I gotta get an extra bag of these. Cause I ain't gonna be back here for a while. Look at all the food, foodie for your doggies. Your doggies, the doggy ogie ogies. get the lime one and I'll try it out and I'll let you know. I do like lime but I'm not sure that I'll put one of these back and I'll get a lime and I'll just just try it just just because. This one looks like it's been crushed. I'm not or it feels like it's been crushed. I want to get one that's not crushed. Alright I want to try out the lime one too then. I had to quit everything with mine. Mine, mine. I would give her the most expensive, most he most healthiest food, and her belly would still break out. She would still get ear infections. I was spending like eighty to ninety dollars a bag going to get a special feed that was medicated, and it still wouldn't go up. So mine's been on all raw for the last two and a half months, and I spend less money. No more belly breakouts. No nothing. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. There's all your Zevia. There's that new uh, Zevia sparkling water down there. It's got just a little hint of stevia to it. It kind of takes that tartness out of that sparkling water and helps people enjoy it a little bit more. Then you got your Zevia colas, individual cans here. Any of this stuff can be fine on a ketogenic diet. It's fine. Don't abuse it, but it's fine. Um, there's even some of these up here that you'll find don't have sugars and stuff in them some of them do some of them don't like this one here I'm trying to figure out this one here so these are like six pack bottles I'm trying to figure out what's so this one actually does have sugar in it some of the Virgil's has one that doesn't have sugar in it. Where is it? I know they have one that has no sugar in it. But I'm not seeing it here. 
But you'll find options here for that kind of stuff. If you want carbonated drinks and things like that. Any of these chips and stuff like that are going to be no good. Crackers are not going to work for, for keto. Here's the Epic brand. And then here's the 4505 ones. Um, pork rinds, coconut, palm sugar. Okay, so just because it says coconut palm sugar, I'm not going to give it a shot. I was going to give it a shot without it, but I'll pass on that. Let's see here. I'm trying to catch anything that may be keto related. Cauliflower pretzels. Cauliflower pretzels. Let's see what these things are. Maybe it's cassavia and cauliflower. Oh man, that's a lot of 23 grams of carbs. There's no way. Heck no. No way, not even close. Nope. Back to those keto cups again down there. You guys think I should get a bag of those and try them? These are, like I said before, well, let's look at these on real. $4.99 a bag. And they have... They actually have cane sugar and stuff in there, so this is not going to be good for keto. But these are going to be fine for keto. These are perfect for keto. They don't have no junk in them. That's it right there. So these would be okay on keto. Got a lot of reviews we got to do, guys. I'm going to be on video a lot. Y'all are going to get tired of seeing me. If, you hadn't, if you're not tired already. Um... I know that we, we... Somebody was asking about the different types of... Tony's Colony. It's big giant chocolate bars. No, this is not it. Somebody was asking me to look at something while I was here. Here's a signature dark. Organic cacao, organic coconut sugar. 14 grams of carbs, that's not it. Somebody was asking me to look at one of these while I was here and I don't remember what they were asking me to look at. That's nice of you to say, but I know some people are. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to angle this camera and look at and pick things up at the same time. That is not gonna work. 13 grams and it's got real sugar in it. So the only one I've found so far is down there, and that's the keto cups, the one I showed you, the, the, this one. The one I grabbed down from down there was the um, 16 grams of carbs, soy lectin, not going to work. Oh, there's a whole other section here I didn't see. Lilies, we already know Lilies applies. Everybody does Lilies and they don't really have any problems. They don't. Lilies, lilies uses stevia to sweeten, so um, they don't really have an issue with theirs. Because if you look at like right here, 12 grams of fiber, 6 grams of erythritol total you end up getting like six grams of carbs for for one serving of this which is about half and some people learn to even get better than that you know some people some people can get a higher cacao like right here this is a uh, no sugar added stevia sweetened 85 percent lilies and there's like 15 grams of carbs seven grams of fiber four grams of erythritol so depending on how you Subtract, 
I don't subtract. I count the whole entire thing. I don't think people should technically be subtracting. It, it, it leaves inaccurate measurements. So this one here is actually lower. 10 grams per serving. Oh, that's because they're, they're listing this as three different servings. That's why Lily's isn't. Okay, so we move on. Very low carb, but... So this is like some kind of sparkling water, but it's got eight grams of sugar to, to a serving. Mole, 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 mole. Here's that liquid aminos right here. 